Hi humans! Today I'm building my version of this cool project that's been floating around the internet for a while. Let's dive in! First, let's prepare all the components. You're already familiar with the WS2812B 8x8 LED matrix. And my favorite microcontroller, the Arduino Nano. For this build, I also need a G-Sensor module. I'll be using an MPU6050. Since the system needs more power, I will use a 5-volt 2-amp power supply and using a pre-wired USB Type-C socket to power everything. To reduce noise on the LED matrix, I'm adding a 240-ohm resistor in series in the data line. Every project starts with a plan, so I made a simple connection diagram. Also, here is an idea of how it should work. Tilting causes rolling. Pixels move in the direction of the tilt, bouncing off the walls and losing energy. Motion slows down naturally. Pixels stop when the board is level. Small movements still make pixels react. But as for me, just bouncing is a little bit boring, so we'll implement additional effect. After a hard bounce, a few pixels flicker and disappear, simulating breakage. All right, let's start. First, I'll solder the USB Type-C socket and connect the power to both the Matrix and Arduino in parallel. Then, let's take command of the LED matrix and make it dance to our tune. Connect the VIN pin of the LED matrix and the D6 pin on the Arduino. To keep things smooth and reduce noise, add in a series resistor in the circuit. Moving on to the G-Sensor, I'll connect VCC and GND to the Arduino's VIN and GND pins. Just a few more wires left, SCL from the MPU6050. Goes to A5. And the last one, SDA. Connects to A4 pin. And with that, our wiring is complete. Now for the programming part. First of all, we need to calibrate the MPU6050. I am using double-sided tape to attach MPU6050 to the back of the matrix right in the middle. Then connect the Arduino to a laptop. Open Arduino IDE and upload the calibration code. Open the serial monitor and type any symbol, press enter, and let it run without touching it. It calculates offsets automatically. Once done, open the bouncing sketch and insert the calibration offset values. All sketches, wiring diagrams, necessary libraries, and component links are in the description. Now I'm eager to see the results. Let's start with one pixel. And it works. But to really activate crash mode, we need more pixels. Let's add 10. And just look at that. Everything is working exactly as planned. Now let's build a simple case. I found a box for my CPL dashcam filter and it's a perfect fit. And guess what? This case already has a rough surface which will work as a light diffuser for my matrix. How cool is that? Before all components go inside, I understood that the nut should be remped, as there is not enough space for nut. So I rapidly unsoldered socket and put all together back without nut, secured with double-sided tape, and I'll cut only one hole for the USB Type-C socket and secure it using hot glue. Make sure everything is secure and we're ready for the final test. Everything is set up. So just plug and play. And it looks awesome. Let me know your thoughts and suggestions in the comments. Subscribe for more cool DIY projects and experiments.